One person is dead following an incident at Adventureland's Raging River Ride happened over the weekend. WHO 13's Kaylin Thompson joins us live from Altoona this morning with more on the latest of this just absolutely horrible accident, Kaylin. Yes, very horrible, Jody, and very sad. There are so many questions about how this exactly happened, but a spokesperson for the amusement park did release a statement late last night saying, quote, Adventureland is saddened to learn of the passing of one guest involved in the Raging River accident that happened Saturday evening. This investigation is ongoing and the ride remains closed. Here's how the Raging River looked Sunday afternoon. Gates locked up and a sign saying the ride is temporarily closed with no mention of what happened the day before. So here's what we know. According to the Altoona Police Department, the raft carrying four guests overturned at around 7.30 Saturday night. All four guests were hospitalized. At this time, the names of those involved have not yet been released, and there's been no update on the other three guests' conditions. But the Altoona Fire Department talks about the rescue efforts to get them out. It was very challenging uh, with, with the ride's location in the park. It was, it was remote from the entrance that we needed to use, so there was a lot of equipment, uh, personnel that had, had to travel back to that remote area on foot. So not only the layout of the park causing challenges for these rescue crews, but also the fact that the Raging River ride has moving water. Now you're looking at file footage of the ride. If you've been on it, you know that it kind of has a white water raft feel, but you do sit up on that raft, but you are bumping along the different walls and barriers at times due to that moving water. Unfortunately, this is not the first time tragedy has struck that ride back in 2016 an employee working on the Raging River actually died in an accident as well. But we do know Adventureland did open for the 4th of July holiday yesterday, and by all indications of their website, they will reopen again this morning at 10. Okay, thanks so much for that update, Kaylin.